what Jersey is missing right now is we are missing this boat. Legal weed advocates pointed out green is the color of money and marijuana. New Jersey could harvest a bumper crop of tax revenues, an estimated 300 million bucks, according to a report prepared by New Jersey Policy Perspective, if it legalized recreational marijuana use and tax it at 25 percent for a state that's suddenly facing a billion dollar revenue hole. For the economy, for the revenue side of this, Jersey needs to start getting in this game and bring some much needed revenue in the state without draconian cuts and without increasing new taxes on the populace. We're not interested in growing the industry. We're interested in transitioning the industry from an illegal one to a legal one. Members of New Jersey United for Marijuana Reform say New Jersey could grow a thriving legal marijuana industry to rival the four other states that have already legalized and taxed recreational marijuana, like Colorado, which reaped $135 million last year. Advocates claim that doesn't include millions more saved on cop and court costs when criminal penalties are removed. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity where social justice and economic opportunity are aligning so clearly. The report estimates about 340,000 New Jersey residents would drop more than a billion bucks a year on legal marijuana if merchants charged 350 an ounce. That's comparable to current prices on the street. And it says customers from Pennsylvania and New York would buy legal Jersey weed. The trick is undercutting the illegal market by keeping tax rates low to start. You will get people comfortable participating in the legal market. Um, and they will come to be very familiar with and appreciative of the benefits of it being a safe place, you know, ensuring the health and the safety of, of, of the product. New Jersey won't release tax figures for medicinal marijuana sales here. A Rutgers Eagleton poll last year showed more than half of New Jersey's residents favored legalizing recreational marijuana, one intransigent roadblock, Governor Christie, who's vowed never to approve it. I don't care about the tax money that may come from it. And I don't care, quite frankly, that people think it's inevitable. It's not inevitable here. I'm not going to permit it. Never, as long as I'm governor. Advocates say as more states legalize and tax marijuana, the arc of federal law will bend towards legalization as well, much as it did following prohibition. They believe New Jersey is fertile ground for the movement to grow. At the State House, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.